Century 25 in your senior, senior yearling board class, and one that you have to admire for his length and extension. He's tall to the point of his shoulder, takes a comfortable stride out of that um, out of that shoulder. Just where we need to fix him is right there at the ground, and he also comes in a little lighter muscle package compared to the other ones in the class, but one that the overall frame size and height to shoulder definitely have to be accommodated. Here, uh, your entry 26, he's going to win this drive, and I think one that um, handles it uh, very easily, in my opinion. He's sound and balanced uh, off either end of a skeleton, takes a good, comfortable stride, and yet still offers that stoutness, that heaviness of bone and correctness of build, uh, one that is stout and rugged and, and does a lot of things. Uh, frame size, I think, is is uh, about about right, in my opinion, uh, one that just offers a lot of things uh, to win this particular drive. And then here we got 27, uh, entry number 27, uh, comes in a little more smaller, uh, shorter-sided package, moderate package, uh, one I'd just like to fix off either end of a skeleton, I'd like to jack him up from a frame size standpoint, uh, but one that uh, is comfortable out here, maybe carrying a little more condition uh, than I find ideal, uh, but one that uh, still offers some, some advantages. And entry 28 here, he's going to be second in this particular class. Again, I think you have to admire this one from his length and extension. He's comfortable off of both ends. Uh, for me, where he falls second today is just from a stoutness standpoint. I'd like to see this one be stouter in his overall bone and, and foot uh, to compare the one that wins uh, the senior yearling boars, but one that uh, still offers a lot of positives. And 29, entry number 29 here is one that uh, uh, just gets flatter um, in his overall makeup. He gets frailer in his bone work. He gets smaller in his foot. Uh, one that uh, still uh, has got some shape, uh, just gets flatter in his rib. He gets flatter out of that blade. Just need to stouten this one up uh, off of either ends of a skeleton, stoutener his, his overall rib uh, to compete with the other ones in the class.